Meanwhile, the South African rand weakened in early trading today as investors await President Cyril Ramaphosa's cabinet announcement following the African National Congress losing its parliamentary majority for the first time in 30 years. Additionally, this morning, the rand traded at 18 rand and 1 cents against the dollar, down 0.22% from its previous close. Investment analyst Simbongile Nyangetimbisi from Cartesian Capital provides insights on the market implications of the upcoming cabinet announcement. After closing the week below the 18 rand to the dollar level, today saw the rand reverse those gains and trade above 18 to the dollar. With the president yet to announce his new cabinet, the Democratic Alliance has sent out a letter outlining some of their demands for cabinet positions. A few of these portfolios that the DA would like to have include mineral resources and energy, public service and administration, public works and infrastructure, as well as justice and home affairs. These demands have been met with resistance from the ANC, particularly regarding control over directors general and procurement processes. In addition to politics still having a say in our markets, we are also seeing some dollar strength which is weighing on our currency. Our bonds have also been selling off in tandem with the RAND today, whilst equities have continued their rally. And considering the equity rally we had last week, we expected to see some profit taking in our equity market, but it seems that the bulls still have the upper hand going into this week. The JSE has been supported by NASPAS and Process reporting decent results today, and these two counters make up almost 17% of the JSE. Both stocks were among the top performers of the day.